Hello everyone, welcome to another video in the education and self-isolation series that we're doing. Uh, my name is Erin Haycock. I'll be doing a quick little presentation on developing curriculum today. Um, back in January, the Utah Public Archaeology Network had a meeting of different consultants and people interested in combating vandalism throughout the state um, come and discuss what we thought we could do to, to help this issue. And a lot of the feedback was that we need better education on the archaeological resources and the proper way to go to archaeological sites in the state. And that education was just a huge thing that we really needed to address. So we decided that we would make teaching resources to be distributed throughout the state um, to kind of get archaeology into the mind of students as early as we possibly can. Um, so the goals of this teaching resource that we're building was to provide easy to use lesson plans so that teachers could um, go and just check out these kits that, that we're building that would um, provide a lesson plan that addresses at least one of the state standards. Um, so it's not just a lesson for the sake of a lesson, it's actually fulfilling some of the things they need. Um, it's also to help show students kind of the practical applications of what they're learning in school can be. So in this case, we decided to use um, one of the standards of stratigraphy, um, which is something we use in archeology span all the time. Um, so it, and there's geologic applications as well for stratigraphy. So it's just to kind of show students that you, what you're learning in school actually can be used in a career. Um, and we really wanted to bring, you know, archaeological concepts to teach the standards so that we can start getting archaeology and what it really is and what we can do with it um, into the minds of students. Um, so we have a really great teaching collection at State History. Um, and so we decided to use this teaching collection to try and engage the students in learning. Uh, rather than just showing a video, we wanted to give them actual artifacts that they could touch and interact with during this lesson. Um, so on screen here are just two of the artifacts in this teaching collection, of which there are over a thousand artifacts in this collection. Um, they're all artifacts that have previously been looted and were turned in to us at some point. Um, so we don't really exactly know where everything came from. So we're using that as a platform to kind of teach about looting as well. Um, and on this slide is just a small, small snapshot of what might be included in these kits for these kids to interact with. Um, there's tons of pottery, projectile points, there's some cordage, textiles, um, old corn. There's, I mean, if there's, there's a lot in this collection that um, students will be able to interact with as they're le learning these concepts. Um, so for the state standards for this teaching kit that we're creating, we decided to focus on seventh graders um, to really focus in on what we can teach rather than trying to make it um, usable across multiple grades uh, so we could have a more focused lesson. And we picked one standard from both science and social studies. So the science standard is stratigraphy. And then the social studies standard um, is using what you know or what the students will learn about um, the prehistoric peoples to make an interpretation about the past. So in this lesson, students will learn concepts of stratigraphy, relative dating, um, laws of horizontality, all of that. And then after that, they will look at the collection of artifacts and where they're placed in that stratigraphy and try to interpret what they think was going on at the specific site that we are highlighting for this lesson. Um, so we have it mostly built. There's still a couple things to be done on it, but we sent it out to a couple teachers to get feedback on what they suggested. And they really hit home that we need to integrate questions into the activities rather than having them do the activity and then answer questions, um, but build the questions into the activity itself. So they're answering and thinking about these questions while they're doing the activity. Um, and it also allow for breaks. Um, I remember being a student and hating when class went just endlessly. So just a 10 minute break. Um, and in that time, we were making a little classroom museum so they can interact with the, the objects more and the artifacts. Um, and then making worksheets secondary, uh, which is just goes back to building the questions into the activity and really following up 
on the lesson afterwards. So once the teachers have given the lesson, provide a way for them to follow up with the students and see if they really understood the concepts being taught and if they need to go over anything again. Um, just really make sure that the students have the opportunity to understand these concepts rather than being left behind on it. Um, so hopefully we'll have these teaching kits out ready to go soon. Um, but thank you for watching. If you want to follow us on Instagram or Twitter, um, go ahead and do that. And Keep an eye out for the next video in this series.